Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about a really popular exercise, which is the push-up. And I wanted to talk about some of the common mistakes that a lot of people make when doing the push-up. Now, some people might just not know the right form or might just not know how to correctly do the proper push-up form. So I'm gonna show you some of the mistakes people make and I'm gonna show you how to correct them. The push-up's a really great exercise because not only does it work your arms and your chest, it also works your back, it works your core a lot actually, and it even works a little bit of your lower body. So if you can get the form down, you can actually get a full body workout if you properly do the push-up. So I'm gonna show you some of the common mistakes. Let's see if you can get them. So one of the first mistakes that a lot of people make when doing the push-up is right here. So they, they're right here and let's see if you can guess it. I don't know if you noticed, but my arms were really wide there. My elbows were going out. And technically, it seems like there's nothing too wrong with that, except for the fact right here. You're putting a lot of wear and tear on your rotator cuff. And I see a lot of people do this, and I used to do it a lot too, because I honestly didn't know any better. And when you put all that wear and tear on your rotator cuff, your rotator cuff is not that little joint that holds it together. It isn't super strong, so it's gonna get injured over time. Like all that repetitive motion. So you cannot have your arms wide out here, even if you did it in elementary school or whatever, it's not the right way to do the push-up. Another mistake that a lot of people make, let's see if you can guess it here. It's kinda, okay. I don't know if you noticed, but I tried to get my butt up as high as possible. And that's a lot, a big mistake that you'll see people make. They have their butt high up in the air and that doesn't allow you to activate your core and it just doesn't, it's just not the right way. Okay, so here's another mistake people make when they're doing the push-up. They arch their back the other way. And that is actually really painful on the lower back over time. And your stomach is touching the floor first a lot of times and you're not activating your core. And it's just not the right way to do the push-up once again. And I'll show you a couple more. We all have done this before, especially when you get tired and get to the last couple reps of doing the push-up. The problem is that a lot of people value quantity over quality when it might be better to just be, do 10 good form push-ups than to do 25 bad form push-ups. Okay, so the last one that I can think of, oh, there's two more that I can think of. Okay, so let's see if I can get this right. So sometimes you focus so much on looking at the ground that if you notice your head goes towards the ground first and you strain your neck that way, you hurt your neck and you'll notice like pinching in the shoulders. And that's just not a good way to do the push-up because you're actually causing yourself some pain. So instead of looking down, one of the easy ways to fix that is to look forward. And the last mistake that a lot of people make when they're doing the push-up is right here. Okay, they only make little tiny movements. You're not using full range of motion in the push-up. I'd rather have someone do a modified push-up, like three or four, than to do a million of these little, not full range of motion. You wanna get your full muscle. You wanna be able to push your whole body off the ground, not just do this little range of motion because then you're never going to be able to get that full range of motion going. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some cues on how to work on getting your push-up done right and show you how you can do a push-up. So a lot of people, you don't have a mirror in front of you when you're doing a push-up, so it's not always easy and you don't have a camera to record your form, so it's not the easiest thing. Push-up is actually one of the hardest things to cue anyone to do. So my dog's gonna join me. But so I'm gonna show you some of the cues 
that you want to use when doing the push-up. So sometimes it's easier to start off in like this um, this cat dog type thing, you know, in yoga when you're doing this. Your knees are about hip width apart. I always say hip width. Your shoulders are, your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your hands aren't out here. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. And we tend to go wide a lot. So you're gonna focus more on like the triceps going down. So when you're in this position, when you come up, you wanna come over your shoulders, not back here, you wanna come over. And one of the things you wanna do with your head is you're not looking down, you're not looking up, you're kind of looking straight ahead. And with your stomach, you focus on keeping your belly button tight and up, not down, but not, you keep your belly button tight but you're not lifting your butt, okay? So that's one of the things you wanna do when you're trying to do a full push-up. And I'm gonna, sh and some of you might say, well, Sharon, I'm not strong enough to do a full push-up, that's why my form is bad. Well, there are two modifications that you can do to practice the proper form, because I always like practicing the proper form to get you to where you can do a full push-up. There's the one that most people know where it's doing a push-up from the knees. But there's also another one. So I'm gonna first show you the full push-up. So remember, your hands are right underneath your shoulders and your knees are hip width apart. Then you bring your body up on your toes. You're looking forward. Your arms go back. And I hope I get this right on the video. So, and your core is tight. Your butt's not up or down. And you slowly concentrate and do a few, try not to move your head. And you'll notice you actually work a lot of your back there too. And if you can't do that, which is okay, I want you to try from your knees. So you're in the same position. Your knees are hip width apart. Your hands are right underneath you. And you kind of, you're not sinking your butt back. You're leaning forward. And then what you're simply doing is the same motion with your body. And I know some of you are more top heavy, so it seems harder. And if you can't do that, that's fine. There's still more modifications. So, but you wanna make sure you're getting the right form so that you're able to do a push-up. So this is only a little bit different because on the wall, you do have to turn your head. So what you do here is you put your hand out straight in front of you, right where your hands would be underneath your shoulders. You lean forward and you could keep leaning more forward if you want to put more weight to practice putting weight on your body. And then you're, I'm going to lean forward a little bit more. And you turn your head and you can practice the push-up form without putting your whole body weight on your arms. So once you're able to do maybe 30 of these, you can go down to your knees, and once you're able to do um, a few modified push-ups, maybe 10 or 15, you can try doing three or four regular push-ups. So I hope that this video really helped you see some of the flaws that commonly happen in push-ups. And if you do some of them, don't worry, worry, we all have, especially when we're tired, but there's just some ways that you can easily fix it and do a better push-up. Thanks for watching. Bye.